handicapper steve here handicapping the racing from freehold raceway here on friday it is the 27th of january 2023 gonna look featured ninth race from freehold but before i get on to that remember to please follow me on twitter at horse racing get five for more selections for race courses around the world let's look at the ninth race from freehold which is the preferred handicap field of eight trotters going for that one mile trip going for that twelve thousand dollar purse my top selection i'm going to take a shot with a three horse brownie here let's go three eight seven six in the super Effective. 3876 Super, top selection of three horse Brownie, seven year old, ge seven -year -old gelding by Muscles um, Yankee here. Dan Dubay owns and drives this one. The horse's most recent outing came, um, was well, was supposed to run the uh, week, uh, uh, day before th uh, Christmas Eve, 23rd of December, at um, at um, Freehold in the open preferred handicap, but was uh, that scratch because the horse was sick. So the race before the horse ran the 16th of December at uh, Freehold in the preferred handicap, where the horse finished fifth by four and a half lengths from the inside, had a little stalking position most of the way around, but never quickened up. You know, just couldn't get out late. It wasn't the day to win. Before then, the preferred handicap here at Freehold, 9th of December, the horse finished third by length there, and she sat back early. She tried it home decently late, but just a little bit too late. You know, I, I thought she ran decently against tough horses and then non wars of five last five at freehold second of december the horse went by a half length from y post just sat back curly but really tried it home late uh, a good run 158 flat i thought it was a very good run major improvement off the race before where the horse broke in the uh, preferred handicap here at freehold on the 25th of november finishing eight that day you know just a recipe for disaster there and then a chester in the non wars of 25 last five went by three quarters length down the class ladder he sat back early quickened up nicely 157 and four 90 cents a dollar. It was one of the best, or better times of this horse of the year. Refreshing here. I'm going to give this horse a shot. I think he has a, should have, show some gate speed. Very fresh here today. I think your second likely horse is the eight horse Homer Hall for Troy Bayer. Uh, most recent, the preferred handicap right before Christmas here at Freehold. The horse finished third by five and three quarter lengths, and from the outside left, but then got shuffled out of it late. You know, just couldn't keep up. Um, today, probably going to show some speed, and if the horse could hold off on the front end all throughout, it wouldn't surprise me if he runs a good race. Two back in the 75,000 claimer at uh, Yonkers, 15th of um, December. The horse finished third by neck, and again, didn't show a lot of gate speed, but was really closing up well late. Uh, and then the race before, throughout the run at the Yonkers, where the horse just didn't show a lot there. Uh, and the most recent victory on the 23rd of November at Yonkers in a 75 claimer, went by a head. On the front end all throughout, 156 flat. Again, not the fastest time for this horse, but for that time of year, it was, it was a good race for this horse. Coming here today, I, I, again, I think you're second likely winner. And the pick four that begins with the previous race, used there but to recap my selection for the ninth from freehold let's take the three horse brownie give kudos to the eight horse homer hall three eight seven six super three eight in your multi-race so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody